Hello there. My name is Chinedi Okafor. I am a family nurse practitioner. I help women in business or ministry achieve and walk in optimal health of the mind, body, and soul. Because those three are really, really critical. Not only are we to um, work towards getting healthier in our physical body, but we also uh, need to work towards getting healthier both in our spiritual health as well as in our mental health. And that's really, really important, especially right now. Uh, with so much going on, there's a lot of um, cases of, of uh, mental health issues, uh, which has always been there. But I, I think with the pandemic and all that is going on right now, it is so, so much more critical that we take care of ourselves in those three areas, not only physically, but mentally and spiritually. Uh, because when we're caregivers, right? We take, we're always trying to take care of other people. We have children, we have husbands, we have businesses, we have church activities, we have so much. And so, I mean, from my own personal story, I mean, I have not always taken care of my health because I was busy, just like you, right? Life happens, you get busy, and you're like, well, I'll take care of myself later but it catches up on you. Um, I don't know if you've heard me talk in the past, it was at a point where you know I was tired a lot. I'm like, well, because I'm busy, I'm tired, but I didn't know that uh, there was something else going on on the inside until I went and did a physical, annual physical. My blood work was crazy. And so my doctor was like, um, and you're still functioning? Uh, you, you, you are still walking? So it hit me that I just have not really taken the time to take care of myself because I was too busy uh, taking care of other people. That happens a lot with women who are caregivers. So it is important because you want to be um, at your best health, best self, so that you can take care of those people that you're trying to take care of. Otherwise, if you break down, then, well, that's also going to cause more problems. Then you won't have the time to not only enjoy your children, your family, and the things that you want to do. So it is so important that we take care of ourselves. It is not selfish to take care of yourself. It is important to take care of yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually, especially right now. And you know that women are more likely to experience anxiety and depression. You know, we're two times more to have depre depressive symptoms. So it is uh, my plea to you or, you know, you or your loved one, anyone that you know that is experiencing some of the symptoms Please get help. Please don't try to just, you know, just uh, toughen it up. You know, get help. There's help out there. So um, seek professional help. Talk to a friend. So my goal today is to say this to you. It is important to take care of your health. It is important as a caregiver, as a busy woman, as someone who thinks that is not important because you make time for it later. I want to remind you today that it is important. It is critical. Take time today for yourself. If you um, have not made that appointment for your annual physical exam, I know that we are restricted right now with the pandemic, but um, as soon as you are able to, at least, you know, if you have to do a virtual visit, at least get some lab work done so you know what's going on on the inside, at least. Just go ahead and be proactive to take care of yourself. And of course, um, that's the physical part, the mental part, if you're having any signs of symptoms of anxiety, depression, please get help or anything else that you just think that you're just not thinking uh, like you used to think or feeling like you used to think, please get help. And then the third part of the spiritual health is just um, make sure that you're connected to a church, a local body. And I know that many times we're doing uh, tele um, Zoom church, uh, whatever, however, it is important to get connected to a group of people uh, within a body of believers to encourage one another because the whole reason that we gather at church is to worship and to also do life together to have fellowship and to encourage one another to keep pressing on so connection and fellowship is is important because no one is meant to live the christian life by themselves that's why god gave us the body the church so get connected with a church because that is so important for your spiritual health of course reading your bible and praying those spiritual disciplines are there to help us but connecting with people is just as important. So I wanted just to remind you this video to take care, make it a priority, take care of your health, both physically, mentally, spiritually. All right, till next time. Ta-ta.